Hey there, it's once in time again for Meals with Melissa. Today we have a really great, super simple recipe for you. And that is the goal of this actual Facebook Live is just to give you some healthy tips and some healthy ideas uh, because most of us don't have a lot of time to prepare a lot of complicated recipes. So today we are making zucchini nachos. It's kind of a two-step process and the first part is going to take a little bit longer uh, but it's well worth the while because I don't know about you but you know chips are awesome but they're not super healthy either because of course they are processed food and they're carbohydrates that we can have in a better a little more healthy way. So today we're going to make some baked zucchini chips um, and then we're going to top it with some really healthy options. Um, um, for nachos. So the first thing that we're going to do um, is we're actually going to make our zucchini nachos or our chips. Um, so I took the smaller zucchinis that I could get at the local grocery store versus the great big ones that my friends give me that I love so much. Um, and I'm going to slice it super, super thin. Now from experience, because I've already played with this a little bit, um, I recommend that you cut it super thin. Now I'm actually going to use a mandolin um, on its thin setting. Be careful not to cut yourself. I already did that once today. Um, but make sure that it's super, super thin because otherwise it takes much, much longer to bake because you're going to bake it in a really low temperature oven. So I'm actually going to really quickly, so I'm cutting off the end so it gives me a little bit easier way to um, go ahead and slice these. And I'm just going to go ahead. Now it did come with a little piece that you can put on top so that your hand is not the one that's touching it as you're grating it. Okay, and I've already preheated my oven to 225, which is of course a really low option. Um, I haven't tried broiling this, but I do know that you can grill these on your grill outside if you choose to. There's a really great recipe um, that if you'd like, I can include that down below. Okay, so what I'm gonna do after I've got, and this makes quite a bit actually, especially if I'm making them super, super thin, okay? So here I've got my slices of zucchini. All right, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Okay, and that'll help my spices stick. I'm gonna do some salt, as I knock everything over. I already know I'm clumsy. Some pepper, okay, a little bit of oregano leaves. And I'm just gonna mush this around with my hand. Now, one of the recipes that I saw, of course I do lots of preparation and, and looking and research before I do this, um, was ranch flavored zucchini chips, which I thought would be absolutely awesome because one of my favorite all time flavors that I use for my salad dressings and everything else that I do um, is Colonel Season's Ranch Seasoning. Um, I love it because it doesn't include a lot of fat, um, it's really low in carbs, and it gives it, you know, the vegetables a really great taste. So you could also mix some of that in. Now I'm not doing that today for my nachos because I want it to be a little more nacho-y. Um, but, so I'm going to take, I've already sprayed my baking sheet, my baking tray, with just some pan spray. And I'm gonna lay these all out so that they are individual. Okay. Actually, it's just easier to just dump them on and spread them all out. You want them to be separate so that they don't stick to each other as they cook. Okay. And of course, I've already got some ready made, so I'll show you what they look like when they're done. All right. So I'm going to pop these in the oven. Now, these are going to take a little while. So I highly recommend that you do this maybe the night before or, you know, when you wake up in the morning, get them all made beforehand and that way all you have to do is heat them back up um, when you make your nachos. So I'm going to throw this in my oven. Okay. And I'm going to set the timer for about an hour and 20 minutes. I'm going to check it at about an hour to make sure that they're doing okay. Um, it does take, I tried these last night. If you make them too thick, they're going to take much, much longer than an hour and 20 minutes. So just keep that in mind that it might be a little while. Okay. So once they're done, they're actually going to look like this. I don't know if you can see them, right? So they actually look like chips, kind of, but you know what? They're a, great, a really great vehicle for the other things that we're gonna put on there. So what we're gonna do now, okay, I use my handy dandy iPad to pull up Pinterest. Um, we're gonna add some great things. So we've got our zucchini there, and of course you can make as little or as much as you want if you wanna share it with your family. I'm making this so that my son has some lunch, uh, which is great, but I'm gonna take about a cup of cheese. Now, shredded cheddar, uh, you can get low fat, um, I know they don't carry it everywhere. You can get some low-fat cheddar cheese. You can also get non-dairy. Um, thanks to my vegetarian and vegan friends, I'm finding out all kinds of lovely tricks and tips um, that if you don't do well with dairy like I do, there's other options out there for you. Um, you can even make your own. So if you're interested in that, um, I do have a recipe for that as well. So I'm gonna take about a cup of cheese. Now at this point, I probably would throw it in the microwave 
but just for all intents and purposes right now, I'm probably not going to do that. So it says about a cup of cheddar cheese. You know, honestly, it depends on what you want. Um, definitely, if you are tracking your macros, make sure you're paying attention, you're measuring things. I feel that that's really important. Um, okay, so I'm also going to add a half a cup of black beans that I've rinsed and drained. Black beans are actually awesome. They give you some, some texture, some extra protein. Okay, put them on there. I'm going to do about half of an, a fresh avocado. I love avocado and I just learned um, that there is a product out there called Holy Guacamole that has no, I mean, it has a little bit extra like sodium and things like that. Um, but it basically it's, it's guacamole without a lot of extra garbage in it. So pretty awesome, tastes great. Mine was a little spicy. I'd probably go for a little more medium next time or um, mild. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put some of the avocado on there. I'm going to do about a half a cup of chopped tomato. You could do, you know, whatever toppings you like, just make sure that you keep in mind uh, what you're going for for the day. You know, I like to plan out my day in advance. I like to know the night before exactly what I'm gonna eat the next day so that I know that it fits my macros. Personally, I just eat the same thing every day, which, you know, I know it becomes boring. Um, but for me, if I want, I want something really amazing, I save that for my free meal. Uh, but this is a really great way to figure out, you know, how to do something that you love um, in a much healthier way. Just like there are ways to eat tacos, which are awesome, um, in a much more healthy version of it. Um, I got about uh, probably a fourth cup, not quite a fourth cup. I'd say this is probably um, maybe an eighth a cup of cilantro. Now, if you don't like cilantro, you don't have to add it. I'm also going to add a little bit of green onion. Now, if you don't like green onion and you like regular onion, you know, do what works for you. Okay, and I do not know where my green onion went. So there it is, right in front of me. All right. So, and to top it off, I'm gonna use just a little bit of lime juice to squirt on top just to give it a little bit of, of flavor and keep it fresh and really tasty. So um, that is, that's super easy, guys. Um, so I'm gonna include all the, the recipes down below. I usually just pop up the pictures that I get from Pinterest, so you can pin them if you want. Um, but you know what? There really are great ways, super simple, easy ways to keep within your macros, to keep yourself healthy, um, because where it's at is whole fresh foods, guys. You know, it's not just the calories. It's the quality of the calories that matter. So if you're eating processed foods, your body just absorbs so much more of it, and there's not the vitamins, the minerals, and the nutrients that are included in all the fresh foods like we're making here today. So hopefully that helps for you. Um, have an incredible weekend, and until next week, we'll see you with Meals with Melissa. Have a great one, guys.